What's going on, Toxic Gamers? You know, yesterday we covered the story about how Ubisoft has a new mentorship program that says that, hey, no men allowed. No men allowed. But if you identify yourself, if you're a man and you want to, you know, work there, you can identify yourself as a woman and be like, hey, I'm strong, I'm independent. They're going to let you in. I'm not even making this up, bro. I wish I could... I could say psych right now. I really wish I could say psych right now, but like the video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. Now, first of all, salute to the Captain BBC. Damn, look at that. My guy be walking around like, damn, man, crazy, right? So yeah, ultra, these things are ultra racist towards Asian people, man. They openly say that, hey, white people bad, all right? They openly say that, bro, crazy, man. Right, that happens. They always use black people as shields, make them gay in the game, right? And they also use uh, LGBT people as shields as well. Brown people, man, there's no sign of brown people, man. These suckers don't even give a damn about brown people. They're like, hey, you brown? We don't even, we, uh, what? Like, brown people don't even exist, right? Like, they, these things is crazy, man. These things are racist towards everybody. And now they, of course, have taken a next step. This thing is so crazy that, oh my God, damn, man, damn, man. Woof, shish. Okay, so I want to show you guys this clip. Roll it. Look at the Assassin's Creed Shadows World trailer. It's full of bots. Bot comments? No, it's not. Let me take a look at it. Um, let's see. Not y'all turning into Japanese historians. We all watching the same trailer. This looks incredible. What? This has been botted without a shadow of a doubt. I'm 100% certain. There is no way. 4.9k likes on that comment. I mean, these comments were not there yesterday, bro. <laughs> Four hours ago. And with six replies, oh, 100%, man, 100%. Where are the Reddit detectives at right now? It's been botted. Okay, so let's go ahead and investigate this right now. So yeah. if you look at every single positive comment, they are within 4.9 to 5.1 thousand likes. And every single one of them is being made by an individual with a first name, last name, number combination. Yeah, that, that that and look at these images. Strong, independent. I mean, confirms the mentorship program, right? <laughs> these things are like <laughs> these things are like ah, baby. The mentorship program needs to live another day, another day. Yeah, man. Gamers be finding it out about it, man. Damn, man. When I first heard the story, I couldn't even finish my cookie, man. How many of you guys are having cookies right now? Like, I I know like people having trouble right now. Some of you guys looking like this. I was looking like this, man. Couldn't even finish my cookie, man. Shout out to Tyrese, man. Love the guy, man. And love the one of the great, greatest man bro november can't come soon enough if you're a bro ubisoft hates you so i don't even know why you say bro right there bro nation so not y'all turning into japanese historians ashley skinner 5311 another four hours ago it feels like you're not pointing out every historical detail you get criticized for being a ubisoft bot when did you all get the degree in history can i just enjoy this game without being a history nerd and this is again stephen burgess 30 23 four hours ago again are we all watching the same trailer this looks incredible four hours ago uh assassin's creed shadows they could never make me hate you four hours ago okay now that all the weirdos are gone can we normal people people that's a good one um discuss normal. how beautiful this game is normal people say, says uh, okay can we normal people okay all right can we normal people discuss how beautiful this game is how beautiful this game is. oh my god damn she jumps like that and captain bbc says stay standing reading that uh, mentorship program by ubisoft damn man even ubisoft gave that captain bbc the mentorship program bro like ubisoft was like damn man damn this is crazy bro ubisoft handed him that that mentorship program right there bro he reading right now man i cannot even watch him read that bro like let's not do that bro i love that they went with dynamic weather i love when games do this lamar lewis 4018 four hours ago i pre-ordered the standard edition i can't wait to play i need all of them are four hours ago this game now four hours ago 4.9 thousand likes every single one of these is the exact same this is insane uh, plus all female accounts. Yeah, because people would be more likely to look at the message. So they're all posting pictures of attractive females, right? Yeah. Like, look at this. It, it's fake. It's fake. So we've got one right here. Attractive female, attractive female. And then again, attractive female, attractive female, attractive female, attractive female. Editor's note. If you have ever watched a clip a few seconds after it getting posted, you will surely have noticed the swarm of OF spam bots in yeah, the comments. exactly. Section. All of these bots then have very explicit YouTube bios with links plastered all over. What's interesting about these bots is that they have no, no link. links at all, and mm. as Asmon will prove now, 
All of their comments are unique, so a person actually wrote them and botted them to 5k likes. It is a one-for-one one match with no other people making this comment. So every single one of these comments that are made seems like it is a complete... Th this is like one of those things that I remember when I was a kid. I have done that too, right? Like, for example, like when I started my YouTube channel, full disclosure, confession time, ladies and gentlemen, confession time. Uh-oh, uh-oh. You know, whenever somebody would leave like a bad comment on my video, that was like when I was a kid and... Uh, yeah, when I started, right? I feel like that, that this happens to a lot of YouTubers, but full confession, man. So you, you would go on over on your burner account and you would leave, oh man, this was the greatest video ever, man, greatest video ever, yay! You know, it, it's like the same thing, but they took it to an infinity level and then <laughs> I clicked on this trailer just to read the comments. Uh, this gotta be the real, yeah, this is the 22 hours ago, this is a real comment. 64 replies, damn, man! And this one got 4 replies, Assassin's Creed Shadows, they could never make me hit you. Wait, what? They could never make me hit you. Okay, alright. Assassin's Creed Shadows, I guess she loves the shadows, man. Damn, man, damn! Completely original comment. The question now, did Ubisoft pay for this to happen? Is it botted? Absolutely, everybody knows that. It's not even a question. The question is that, like, I wonder if Ubisoft knows about this. Because, I mean, this is basically scamming, right? Did Ubisoft do this? I don't know. Is it in Ubisoft's best interest for this to have been done? Absolutely, yes. And something is up here. I don't know what it is, but something is up. Yeah. Yeah, oh, 100%, and check this one out. Shout out to the homie Rev Slash Deshu. Roll it. So, this year, there's been two main projects Ubisoft has been ensuring their investors will succeed. The first is Star Wars Outlaws, which recently released, and it's been an absolute disaster. And that release coincided with a massive drop in their stock price, resulting in a very serious set of demands Crazy. from a group of investors who are demanding a radical shift in the company, or they might use French minority law to collect enough shareholders to initiate the sale process of Ubisoft. And literally hours after that happened, another set of news came out that we covered yeah. in yesterday's video. The fact that for you- Oh, I will link you that video, man. This was insane, man. Like, I, I wish I, I could not even process that. I still am having a hard time compute this, but bro, like, who does that? Who does that? Like, deadass, bro. Like, who does that crap, bro? Like, they are like, hey, man, no man allowed, man. If you're a man, you cannot work. Uh-uh-uh, oh, 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 you cannot join the mentorship program. Bro, like, what are we talking, man? And, and in the same breath, they're like, hey, if you're a fem if you're a man or, you, you know, you can be a man, but if you identify yourself as a female, then they would let you in. Then they would Bruh. let you in. It's like, I, I mean, like, if, you, if you're if you dying to be uh, working there or you, you're dying to get the mentorship program, I guess you can do that, right? If you're a man, you can identify yourself. I'm not saying you gotta do it, but, like, this is what Ubisoft is saying, right? Like, you can identify yourself as a female and come join the, the mentorship program, right? Get that mentorship going on, right? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, like, crazy, crazy situation. Boy. Years, there has been a Ubisoft mentorship program that has explicitly excluded men from applying. So another terrible look. And right after that happened, right after my video released, we got some big updates regarding the other big title for Ubisoft that this year, and that is Assassin's Creed Shadows. We haven't heard a lot about Assassin's Creed Shadows recently. In fact, the only real thing we heard was a rumor that they couldn't even sell a thousand pre-orders from yeah. 900 stores, which is crazy. But yesterday, Ubisoft on their official account released their Assassin's Creed Shadows world trailer. Now, how is this received by gamers? Absolutely horrible. You can see the like dislike ratio. And it's for a whole host of reasons that we're going to get into in a second, but let's see a small snippet from this trailer. Uh -oh. So there's a particular sequence of this trailer <laughs> uh, no, that people no, no, are no. clowning on. It's going to happen when Yasuke is riding on his horse, and pay close attention to the feet of the horse as it's moving. Michael Jackson coming in, boys. There we go. Salute to Captain BBC! Let me play that back a little bit no, slower, go, 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 go. in case you cannot see. Salute to Captain BBC, guys. Salute Watch to how Captain it's BBC. Or should I say, gliding. That horse is moonwalking, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, a lot of people have been making fun of this. You can see it here again. It's uh, it's not great for a AAA release. Also consider how ironic it is that a lot of games journalists are praising the trailer itself, saying it's the most advanced game yet, and yet you have this horse moonwalking. Like maybe they paid too much attention to these stunning backgrounds and not enough attention to the close-up details. 
But anyways, as per usual with a Ubisoft trailer on YouTube, the comment section is gold. And let's read a few comments. So the first yeah. one, of course, says, I clicked on this trailer just to read the comments. The next one says, the horse is walking like Michael Jackson on stage. The next one says, all right, Ubisoft, you won. I will replay Ghost of Tsushima one more time. And this last one saying, good job, Ubisoft, as a Chinese. I'm impressed you got the scenarios in ancient China perfectly right as a foreign company. This game is set in Japan. Oh, yes. For those who don't know, a lot of criticism has come out from the initial uh, sneak peeks of this game. A lot of people pointing out that a game set in feudal Japan has a lot of Chinese aesthetics to it, which is yeah. obviously a bad look for Ubisoft who claim. Yeah, and of course, like just a couple of months ago, right, this situation happened where these suckers uh, over at Ubisoft, they sent the, the this game's art, right, and to you, Japanese YouTubers, mind you, because the game is set in Japan. So they're like, you know what, let's actually get some Japanese YouTubers, some of those, some of those goodies. Let's get them hyped up. Let's get them talking about the game. And oh boy, they did talk. They did talk. <laughs> <laughs> they did talk and uh, they said the Japanese youtubers were like hey, bro We cannot even read it. What's written and come to find out it was Chinese Mandarin uh, right so it was uh, it, it was like Chinese text right so they got Japanese stuff wrong I mean big time right big time these suck is crazy, bro Games they did so much research on Japanese culture But here's another set of comments saying the horse was moonwalking away just like the Ubisoft investors Ubisoft stock price minus 23.38% <laughs> in the past five days. And I forgot to hit translate to English on this comment, but I'm sure whatever it is is good. So, uh, you know, true, very true comment. And the last one here says, it could be your last chance, but you turned it into your last dance. You Damn. Mean. So, Damn. yeah, a lot of people are looking at the trailer, especially the small errors there and saying, what's going on for a AAA release like this with a bundle that is $130 $30. on pre-order? Absolutely insane stuff. And think about it too. It's yeah, right. You, this is for the peasants, so you're not getting the full game. You're getting the delayed late version. Three days early access. Forget about it. They're just purposely delaying standard edition by three days. Okay, that's what it is. That's what. Uh, and you know, other games have done it. Like some games, I believe Starfield has done it. But I remember like them doing it for a hundred dollars. So they're like, hey, okay, we're gonna do it hundred ten, bro. <laughs> hundred ten. This thing is crazy, bro. Uh, but you're gonna get the full game for 100, 130 or you can pay them share 18 18 dollars a month as well and then you can get a day one with Ubisoft plus it's not just like someone played through some of the game and found some bugs what have you and then posted on YouTube mm. this mm -hmm. is an official trailer yeah. someone saw that and said yup everything looks good like how did they not pick up on such a very visible mistake I mean they could have even cropped it out right just a very bad look <sighs> however the other thing is on social media, you have the other Assassin's Creed accounts posting the various uh, uh, snippets and previews, and people are clowning that on that as well. And on top oh, of that, for him. some reason, there's only one hidden reply on any of the accounts, and it's this one. So I guess this one uh, got a little under the skin of Assassin's Creed Shadows. But anyways, obviously the trailer is being very negatively received for some of the expected gameplay, but also there's more to it. We know there's more to it. It's not just about what we saw in the trailer. It's all the drama surrounding this game and Ubisoft. We've yeah. seen the many different controversies, the fact that they're trying to rewrite history to portray Yasuke is a samurai, and this has upset a lot of Japanese gamers, and even Japanese politicians have gotten involved in this situation. Yeah, we oh, saw the Oh, you know it's sore when the Japanese politicians get involved. And some of them said that they're gonna wait for the game to launch to, to, to be able to fully investigate. And that totally makes sense, right? So, because they don't have the full context, and of course, officially, they, they wanna, uh, you know, follow the law and uh, investigate it when uh, they have the full picture. But the fact that they said something like that, insane right of course uh yeah right like and we're gonna get, of course we're gonna get more information when the game comes out and let's see what happens maybe the game gonna get banned in japan or something right and if they do that that's gonna be totally understandable because these suckers have went insane with this game bro like look at that shit. <laughs> she was like let me actually find that oh! kind of too late right now kind of too late wanted to synchronize it well <laughs> why wanted to synchronize it well when she jumps but then the captain is like you know reading the mentorship program and he's probably like hey you you are selected but sadly not me because i'm a man you know I'm, I'm, I'm a man and ubisoft don't want me i i mean bruh I'm not sure if this was supposed to leak. I'm not sure if this is a leak. I don't think it's a leak because it was mentioned. Uh, people are getting screenshots of this thing, right? Develop at Ubisoft. Allig yeah, eligibil eligibility criteria. So identify. You must, okay? You must identify as a woman or a non-binary individual, says uh, Ubisoft. Be 18 years old or older. Currently attend or have graduated in or after spring of 2023. 
have less than two years of professional experience in game design or programming in video games be legally entitled to work you get the idea right like this thing is crazy must reside in ontario are currently attending or have graduated from an ontario post secondary school no earlier than spring 2023 so that's what they're saying like so basically if you're a man go pound sand go kick rocks get mama you we don't want you you're a menace to society you're toxic masculinity yeah they don't want none of that they're like gamers toxic men toxic you know black people we gotta make them gay and we gotta use lgbt people as shields right oh if you're a white man we're gonna openly call you out if you're a brown person like me well brown people don't exist in their eyes right so brown people can also go pound sand they can go kick rocks so yeah that's what they're saying telling me guys asian people we're gonna openly also just like white people we're gonna openly be racist towards them too they, these things being racist towards everybody and if you're a man of like any color white brown black purple whatever like you cannot work you can you can just no man like you be some mm -mm, like no man allowed allegedly is what they're saying okay and, and it, it got so out of hands that we even got like investors saying that hey make your company private <laughs> make your company private shut it down shut it down and they're asking for uh Eve Gilmo, which is the CEO, il est le CEO de, de Ubisoft, right? So in France, I was talking in France right there. So he's uh, the, he's working there. He's a CEO. I mean, damn, man, he's a CEO. So the investors are asking for him to resign as well. Insane situation, man. This is like baffling on another level, bro. Merch scandal where essentially Ubisoft slapped their logo on some pre existing One Piece merch that was on Amazon and tried to sell it off as like official Assassin's Creed Shadows merch. It's all uh, context. They were, they were caught stealing somebody's uh, artwork as well. Oh, really, really bad. But the main problem is they can't make up their mind. For a company that is obsessed with the identity of their employees, they don't have an identity for their game. They can't figure out what they want to do with Assassin's Creed. And in particular with one of the main characters, Yasuke. Is he yeah. actually historically accurate or not? Ubisoft can't make up their minds. In fact, we got another statement just yesterday from the development team regarding this issue. This was an interview with Eurogamer where they said, of course, we're making creative choices. It's a video game. And here's the extended quote saying, we have paid a lot of attention to stay as respectful as possible to Japanese culture, but creative choices are made on our side based on all the discussions we had with our own group of experts. We're confident with how the game will be received. And one of those experts many people fear is we're confident thomas lockley but we'll get into that in a second so they're right here saying or giving the, the impression that yes they, they want to respect japanese culture but it's a video game at the end of the day and they're gonna make creative choices that shows that they yeah. don't really want to be historically accurate which yeah. is odd because earlier this year developers were coming out and saying that they wanted this game to faithfully depict real historical figures however yeah. it looks like they got their research from thomas lockley in this absolute 400 page dumpster fire where a author tries to claim with no evidence that Yasuke was a samurai among some other ridiculous claims. This book has been absolutely trashed by Japanese historians. It is a mockery, but it seems like that was the basis that Ubisoft used to create their main protagonist here. And then, due to that backlash back in July, Assassin's Creed on their official account would make a very important statement where they would have this overall authenticity effort section where they say it's never been their intention in any Assassin's Creed game to have factual representations of history. Right. So they flip-flop right here and then- B Yo, ding, 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 ding. Previously, they did say that this game is historically accurate. They did say that they, then they started saying they're fictional, then they said it again, it's historically accurate. And then I remember like they dropped this response. So they were flip-flopping. Yeah, exactly, flip-flopping. Yeah, that's the word. Only a few weeks later, they do it again. But at that time, journalists were coming out and saying Assassin- Assassin's Creed doesn't care about historical accuracy and neither should you. Assassin's Creed doesn't care about historical accuracy and you shouldn't either. But that was further uh, made even more confusing when in early August, exactly. a different developer would come out and say they want the game to be as authentic as possible. And then, exactly one month to the day from that, we have the most recent statement with Eurogamer, where they're saying, oh, well, we want to respect the culture, but we got to make creative choices. It's a video game after all. Very confusing stuff. Oh, Obviously, wow. they're all over the place, and that's just making them look even worse. They can't even stick with a, a direction on this, whether they want to be historically accurate or not. And now, oh, in the wow. next stage, we have a few months until the release of Assassin's Creed Shadows, we're going to be seeing some reviews. And obviously, you know... All it's time to start trusting video game reviewers. Nice joke, nice joke, guys, nice joke. All the usual suspects in the games journalist scene will be getting copies of this. We know that they're very close with Ubisoft, and they're going to be telling you what to expect about this game that they've been hyping up and defending nonstop for most of this year. So, 
As this article suggests, it's time to start trusting video game reviewers. No, it is not. Do not trust the reviewers, especially if they are from these games journalism networks. They All are not facts. being trusted, especially when it comes to reviewing games made by Ubisoft. But at the end of the day, that is the latest look. Ye yeah. Guys, uh, do not, whatever you do, Brad, do not watch this video, okay? This was the last episode that we've done, and the stuff that came out, crazy. That's why I'm saying do not watch this video. So, what do you watch? You check out the video on the left, okay? I'm joking around. If you have not seen the video, on, if you have not, if you have not seen the video, then check out the video on the left, and I'll see you right